there's something very, very big been going on for many, many you know, centuries. And this kind of stuff has been around for a long time. It's just that it's now coming to, seems to be coming to a head now where people are beginning to awaken to the fact that nothing is happening by chance. And this whole thing is being orchestrated. Our, our human life on the earth is being manipulated, orchestrated for a long time. Not just, not just in the 20th century. It goes back a long time ago. The, the very foundations for our commercial systems and religious systems and political ideas and ideologies all can be traced back into the ancient world. And so there is, a, there is something to this idea that secret societies and, and uh, fraternal orders in the ancient East and in the Middle, uh, Middle East and then ultimately into Greece and Rome and finally into today have been, you know, behind the scenes uh, building and constructing a whole uh, fabric of human society and the people being born into it. The problem is young people being born into this world, they have no idea in the world where the earth came from, where the world came from, where the, where the, you know, where the powers that be came from. They have no background and experience. And, and uh, I'll, I want to submit that they have actually no room to store such information and no desire to do so even if they did have the ability to access and put it away and synthesize it. They don't give a damn. Our younger well, people now, now there are younger people listening tonight who are brilliant. And all of you folks know that uh, I always include you with those who understand. We're not talking about you when we generalize about the sheep. So you guys and you gals out there who are listening who are young, uh, you're the future. You're the only hope we have. And don't ever steer away from the course you're on. That course must lead you forever in the direction of... We, the, the word truth has become so corrupted now, unfortunately, but it should lead you in the direction of reality. That's what counts. That's right. That's right. And that's the problem, is that so many people, when they're born into this world, they just accept it, you know, the, the whole concept of, of human life. When you're born into this world, you come in uh, and you just, uh, you know, blend right in with the life that's already here, and it never occurred to you uh, at a very early age to question, you know, where, where did it come from? Why are you here? What's going on here? I mean, what is this thing called life? You know? I mean, you weren't here a uh, hundred years ago, now you are. Where did you come from? And, and, what are, and then when you finally grow up and realize how corrupt uh, the human race can be, well, my God, that's the world you were born into. And so by the time you came in, there's been six to 10,000 years of corruption and violence and, and mayhem going on behind the scenes politically and religiously. Right. Right. And then you, you come into the world and you have no idea in the world about where all of this stuff comes from. So it ha it has been, so important. it's crucial. It has been refined to such an extent that it is, it, is, it is almost beyond a science now. It is an exact mechanism of control. They can shape, mold, sculpture, form, and literally create any reality they want. They, you know who they are, anytime they want. And, and it is a fact that there is a virtual Earth in supercomputing cyberspace in which that these various scenarios are actually plugged in and run to see how they're going to play out in our real 3D world, if it is real right. anymore. They know. Exactly right. It's not plus or minus five or ten, it's plus or minus one or two at the most. They know. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I was talking to a technician that works in the industry of, of computers and, and, uh, and high-tech stuff. It was just amazing that uh, he was talking about the fact that uh, the human body gives off frequencies and they've been able now to perfect uh, equipment that can read the electrical frequencies coming off the brain from outside, yes. uh, from a distance. Yes. So yes. they can fly over, they can fly over a town or maybe even doing it from satellite and they can uh, fine tune their computer uh, equipment to pick up the general feeling that's going on, uh, you know, any time of the day or night, right. uh, in the population by yes. the electrical frequency being given off of the yes. And they can change it if they don't like it. They can that's fly exactly over right. and broadcast and override and essentially rewire, reprogram, recommand, and reconfigure the general consensus of consciousness to right. lean it in various directions of submission. It, it's, it's incredible. It's, yeah, it is. 
what are, what are technology and uh, what kind of people develop this kind of technology? What in the world is, uh, who are these people who are developing this? And wh where are they getting the ideas? And I'm going to suggest something here. I think that this has been engineered to the extent that what we're seeing now is the unprecedented takeover of the mass psyche of not only this country, but the, the, of the world in general. And there was any part of the world that has exposure to the mass media, promulgated, of course, and injected into the subconscious by television, primarily. I believe now that the mass media combine in this country, whether it be People magazine in print, whether it be MTV and all the rest of the visual things, whether it be just audio uh, via the music, doesn't matter. I believe that that combine of media is now, to a large degree, the actual virtual consciousness and brain of the majority of the masses of this country. I believe it thinks for them. I believe it decides for them. I believe they are hopelessly, irrevocably consulting with it 24 hours a day without even knowing it because of the ability to project into the subconscious and the conscious mind all the time. The imagery, the thoughts, the processes, the boundaries. I believe we are living now with people in a secondary role to a virtual consciousness and a brain that has been created with utter and full intent. Is that Absolutely. off the wall too much, Jordan? No, I think that's precisely stating the situation exactly. There was a very important book that came out many years ago that you really need to know, and you probably already know about it, but everyone should get a copy. It's called Four Arguments for the Elimination of oh, television. television. Of course, sure. And it's an extraordinarily expose of how television was produced, who did it, how they did it, and why they did it. So you're right. It's a mass consciousness that has now engulfed the world. But, uh, it's not human. No, not at all. And I've been saying that for a long time, that the people who are at the top of the ladder running the world are not, in fact, human. I go in, uh, as a matter of fact, I go a step further and take it into the, uh, to the religious field. I think there is something to the idea that has been expressed in all ancient religions of the world. And I do mean all of them. Egypt to the Sumerians to the uh, ancient uh, Hebrew, it's always been there in all ancient religions that the world is actually being run by uh, alien life forms. You know, the Christians call them devils, demons. Uh, in the Bible, they've got different names for these entities. Uh, they were called sons of God. One of the reasons why I think this is because the, the people who run the planet really do not care about the human family about children, about women, about older people. They don't care, like George Carlin said. They don't care, one way or the other. They have never cared. They are in power, and, uh, and the idea is to break the spirit of the human race and so that you will be in compliance. And uh, they don't care who, who they hurt. They don't care if old, old people who spent their whole life, you know, building a country and building for, for the future and take their homes away, take their money and throw them into the garbage. They don't care. Couldn't care less. So I do believe that there is a spiritual component to what we're seeing going on. We are being ruled by evil men. And, you know, I, I don't know what to do about it because it's a cosmic problem. It hasn't got anything to do with politics now. It has no. nothing to do with saving America. Nothing right. at all. No, no. Great. Our problem is saving the whole human race. Well, it's, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Uh, nope. They're going to end up doing what they want, and what they want is to reduce it by 80% or more. Uh, they'll do that any time they want. And if they were ever challenged, Jordan, with any kind of an insurrection planet-wide by humankind, they'll just go to the shelf and pull down a freeze-dried organism or 10 and turn them loose, and that'll be the end of people. It's, it's absolutely doable and ready to go right now. There is no way to resist. Resistance uh, is futile. I'm sorry, the door is closed. I've been saying that for years. I know you have. Condemn me and, and, but I've been saying, if you just look at the facts of life, how life works. The science is owned by the dark side. The science is owned by evil. Of course. 
Uh, every single time someone comes up with something that will help the human race, some great invention, immediately uh, it's taken over by government. It is national security taken over. Classic example is uh, Royal Wife. Uh, his, his work, well, well, he's gone. They took care of him quick. And whatever it was he did, they got rid of that as quick as possible. Uh, you know, and Stanley like Meyer. That. Stanley Meyer, the scientist who discovered how to simply and efficiently crack hydrogen out of water, had a water-propelled car, a dune buggy, 130 miles to the gallon, and uh, they murdered him in his own hometown restaurant. That's on uh, YouTube video. Stanley Meyer, M-E-Y-E-R. If you haven't seen the video, go look it up.